Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos and sometimes tattoo related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to give you a tour of all of the tattoo practices I have done on fake skin. I tried to put them in chronological order just so you can see the progress I have made and all the techniques I have tried. The fake skin I am using is from Real Skins. I will leave a link to it in the description box. It's quite expensive, but it's probably one of the best I have tried. So here you can see the first uh, tattoo practices I have done. As you can see, the lines are pretty shaky and the shading is quite blotchy. I tried to do traditional designs as well because those are the best to start off with. And as you can see, the line work still needed uh, a lot of improvement. As I progressed, I tried uh, more shading techniques and more packing black technique. The machine I used for quite a bit was the Bronx V8. I recently purchased a Cheyenne machine, which is much better for packing black and line work. I do have a video talking a bit about the Cheyenne, so I will leave that somewhere on the screen. But yeah, I tried to do my designs, but also some designs uh, taken down from the internet in a more traditional style. Here with the Monstera leaves, I started practicing my first real tattoo on real skin. Uh, this is something I still do to this day. I still practice them on fake skin before actually tattooing a person and it helps me quite a lot. However, tattooing on fake skin is not really uh, very similar to tattooing on real skin because the fake skin is very smooth. You will never see someone with such smooth skin in real life and also there is no texture. Uh, the fake skin doesn't swell up as real skin. so. It, it is good for practicing, especially techniques, perfecting them, such as shading. As you can see, the shading has become much better in time and also the line work, but it's still better to practice on real skin eventually. So here I started playing around with dot work for this bird uh, design, which I worked on for a friend. Uh, I did tattoo him and uh, it actually turned out really nice. This rose I actually tattooed on myself. Uh, it will need quite a bit of touch up because I was still at the beginning of my tattoo practice and some of the lines are not quite as they should be. I tried intricate designs as well, which was really difficult um, because the stencil on fake skin is really hard to put and to be set fully. The problem is that my stencil usually wipes off before I can finish the tattoo. But yeah, I really tried to work on my line work as much as I could and I'm still working on that. As you can see, I tried many, many techniques on fake skin. One thing I struggle with a lot and still do to this day is color packing. I'm still figuring out the best way to do that. Here, these two designs are when I really got into dot work and uh, they are actually made for two people one is my best friend and one is a client and they are actually tattooed on the, their skins. Uh, this more contemporary design is one of my favorites. I really like the contrast. It was the first time using color on real skin. And yeah, I, I discovered that I really like <laughs> using color. And here I played around with more of my designs, adding color, adding textures and just trying out different stuff. The thing with fake skin is that you can try pretty much anything on it. You can play around um, as much as you want. Whereas if you are tattooing a client, you should be able to know how your tattoo will go and know what techniques you want to use and be good at them. This is another design I really liked. It's also for a friend. I tattooed it on her a couple of months ago. Uh, this family portrait design is for my brother. We actually tattooed it on him also a couple of months ago and it will need a small retouch. And here I just tried a bunch of different designs. Uh, as you can see, I practiced some designs multiple times. This flower I tattooed on myself, uh, the black and white version. I do have a video with all the process of me tattooing myself. These are some matching tattoo ideas, which I did for someone and she ended up picking something else, which you will see at the end of the video. 
so these bunnies are next week's appointment so i hope you enjoyed this tour and let me know in the comments what you think about my tattoo journey so far thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye